Hey guys, it's Kai here, and today we'll be doing my top 10 favorite public television logos. Now, I already made a video on the top 10 scariest public television logos, which was a hard list to make and find. Which, check it out, it's a good video. But this video, I had a handful of them off the bat. That shows how many good ones there is the bad logo inside the public television realm. Found some new ones I never heard of before and some classics. For me at least, public television logos are known to be happy, having nice music and portraying an identity. Now some stations have failed at that, like KWSU and UNC TV, but those logos are on a new level of insanity. Anyways, a lot of these logos are amazing. Some of them are in my top 10 greatest logos. Anyways, let's get right into the list. This logo's music is really nice and cool. I can understand it could scare people, but I personally like the music. If you're wondering why I mentioned that, it's because it has a pretty high rating on the CLG Wiki and Scare Factor. The animation looks nice for late 70s and 80s standards. Like, it looks 1,000 times better than KWSU, and we're already at number 10. There isn't the most to say about this, it's just a nice logo. Anyways, let's get into number 9. I think that this logo looks nice. It might be a bit cheesy, but I like it. The music is really calming and nice, and the animation is not intimidating at all. This is one logo I would have never been scared of. For some reason, people are scared of it. I don't understand. I think it's amazing. Anyways, let's get into number 8. This is the kind of logo I think about when I think about the term public television. It's really positive with that music. The animation is kind of cheesy, but to be honest, anything old is considered to be cheesy. Because back then it looked amazing, but today's standards, it looks like crap. I still have to give it respect, though it looked nice for the time. I like how positive it is, even though it's a very dark logo. There's not much to say about this logo since it's just animation on a black background, and it's short and sweet. Anyways, let's get into number 7. Man, why would they ever get rid of this logo? It's amazing! I think that this logo is great because it's so positive. It's like what a public television logo should be like. The animation looks great, especially for 1987 standards, and the music is top notch. This is the kind of soundtrack that I love to wake up to in the morning. Anyways, it's an amazing logo. I'm surprised that we're only at number 7 and I gave a review of what would be number 1 on another top list of the best logos. The only list that would have a better rating is probably the top 10 greatest logos list, but that's for another day. Anyways, let's get into number 6. This logo is very cheesy, but I think it's an identity. This is what I think about or whenever I hear or see PBS. This is one of the most memorable logos for me. I think that the music is very memorable and pretty good and the animation is super memorable. Like this is the first appearance of the P-Head and that's pretty much PBS's main logo. I think that this logo is an identity and is super memorable. It's just a great logo and it's classic. Anyways, let's get into number 5.
This logo is just epic. The music in this logo is super intense and the animation looks great for the time. This is just another classic logo. I think that this is a unique, amazing, cool logo. There's not much to say about this logo even though it's super epic. Anyways, let's get into number 4. This logo is so upbeat and it's a very positive logo. I love the music, I just think it's fantastic. The animation looks amazing for 1978 standards. It looks way better than the first logo, which is one of the ugliest logos ever. I think that this logo is fantastic, which is why it is really high on this list. This one is also not talked about as much. Anyways, let's get into number 3. This logo is super happy and has some of the best music in a logo. I'd put this in my top 10 best logo soundtracks. The animation looks fantastic too. I think that this logo is just a wonderful logo. Too bad this was only used for 7 years. Most of this station's logos are amazing, but this one is better than the others. An honorable mention is their puzzle logo. It is great too, but the radar is better. Anyways, let's get into number 2. PBS. Okay, this logo is great. There's a pattern with these logos. All of these logos besides one is very upbeat. This logo has great music which I think represents public television. A cool thing about this logo is there's all live action. That PN was actually made out of glass. I think that this logo is cool. This logo is also in my top 10 greatest logos of all time. Anyways, let's get into number one. This logo is a beautiful soundtrack. The animation is also fantastic and looks great from the 1980s. Oh wait, this logo is awful. There's not even music or animation. It's still better than KWSU, but anyways, let's get into the real number one. Man, this logo is badass. The music still holds up to this day, even though it was composed 40 to 50 years ago, and the animation still looks nice. I know that it technically isn't present day because the logo doesn't look the same, but it pretty much has the exact same concept as it did back in 1977. They made the animation better and still kept the music. This logo is also in my top 10 greatest logos of all time. Ever since the first time I saw it when I was a kid, I still remember it as a great logo. I can understand why it's scary because of the music and the darkness, but this logo is so memorable and it is an identity. When someone would mention WGBH Boston, I would think about their badass logo. Just to know, WGBH Boston is one of the stations we get here in Canada with WTVS Detroit. Anyways, that's why WGBH Boston is number one on the list. I love most public television logos. Like, they are amazing. Everything from the animation and music makes these logos very nostalgic. Now, I know a lot of them are very cheesy and some of them suck, but the ones that I remember are the ones that I associate with public television. Like whenever I think of public television, I don't think about KWSU or any of those really bad logos because they're not really an identity, they just suck. Having identity is really important and some of these logos did a really good job of it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe on my video and comment what video you want next. Anyways, bye. Thank <laughs> you.